Hi folks! So today I'm doing something a little different. I've got plenty of videos in the works, but I thought instead of doing my regular content, I'd just show you what a normal day in my life is like. It might actually surprise you. As I've said before, I'm mostly a hermit, but what I do behind closed doors is about to be revealed. The first thing I do when I wake up is to grab my phone and see how badly I overslept. Oh boy, I'm not surprised. I'm sorry, I have to yawn. Oh, come on, wake up. Another day, another grind. <clears throat> okay, well, most of the time I go to bed around 1 to 3 a.m. depending, especially if it's a release night because I have to answer comments. And since it's daytime back in the West and most of my subscribers and my viewers are from the West, I have to be in their time schedule so I can interact with my, uh, my viewers and my subscribers. So yeah, oh, come on, wake up. I have to check if I've got eye boogers. Mm. Okay, well, first order of business. I don't do shite unless I have my cup of coffee. So I'm going to meet you outside and let's have a little chat. See you in a bit. Oh, hello. Good morning. I have my alarm clock here. Not really an alarm clock, but have you? How are you, baby? This is my deaf white cat Ivar and he's very dirty. Where have you been buddy? He's a bit bitey. Say hello. All right, see you in a bit folks. <laughs> mm, nothing beats the aroma of your favorite cup of gel first thing in the morning. Although, it's almost noon. <laughs> anyway, I used to drink this three in one you know, those little sachets of coffee that you can buy at the corner stores. Um, we call it Sari Sari store. Um, but I found out when I was reading the packet, it's actually not good for you. It's unhealthy. So I discovered brewed coffee. Ta -da! And I love this particular creamer. Well, coffee mate, but it's only available in one store downtown and i've been waiting for months now they're still out of stock i think there's one particular person always buying them out so if you're that person shame on you please leave one for me next time so anyway first things first i have to talk to my patrons uh first thing in the morning because they're my biggest supporters and they're the backbone of my channel so they get the first crack at my time plus i enjoy talking to them and all these years i consider them as my extended family some of them are friends already and yeah it's a fun little community and the things that i love the most is whenever we do brainstorming for uh, future content future outro sometimes i help them with the arrangements with the hotel stays and uh, places to go, uh, restaurants to visit. And most of the time, I give advice to most of my patrons about how to deal with their Filipinas. <gasps> I know. And I message them personally, um, you know, direct messaging for some important stuff, especially if it's private. And they know if it's private, my lips are sealed. <laughs> So I'm their confidant. So after I talk to my patrons, what I do next is to uh, take care of my YouTube channel. So I go uh, take care of the comment section. As you know, I'm all for free speech. The only time I erase certain comments if, if it's one of these three um, examples. First, if it's got racial slurs. Second, if it's too much obscenity and vulgar language. Third is if you're doxing and if you're trying to tarnish someone else's 
reputation. I don't allow those um, doings on my platform because I don't want to be. I don't want it to be used as a battleground. If you want to do that, there's plenty of gossip channels, and I'm sure they're gonna be happy to entertain you. But if you're just doing, I don't know, constructive criticism and disagreeing in an adult manner, because I hope we're all adults here. And if you're not attacking someone personally, then go for it. Spell it out. Spell your guts out. Because, again, free speech. For those people who say, what happened to my comment? Well, it's not me. It wasn't me. Because sometimes YouTube will automatically filter or delete your comment. I don't know the trigger words. I haven't a clue. So if your comment has a link, sometimes they delete it or sometimes they, they hold it for review. But most of the time, folks, I don't erase your comments. After I manually release the health review comments, I get to answer the comments from the night before. I try my best, folks, to answer all of you, but sometimes if it's more than 2,000 comments, it's physically impossible. Please know that I, I read them all. Yes, I read all the comments. I wish I could answer you all folks, but I don't know how to do that. I can't split my body. So anyway, aside from coffee, I usually eat um, one small piece of English muffin. And yeah, we, we have those here, but it doesn't really taste quite the same like the ones I've tasted back in the West. But hey, it's, it's good enough. It's close to the real thing. Close to the real thing. I usually eat it with blueberry preserves. That's my favorite. But today, I don't have them because... Why? Out of stock. Oh well, I'm gonna settle with my coffee and I'm gonna take a shower and start my day. And no, you can't come with me. Mm -mm. But after I take a shower, I'm gonna come out and we'll take the action from there. So, I'll see you in a bit. Ooh, shower's done. I feel refreshed. It woke me up. All right, for those of you guys that think it takes me a lot of time to wash my hair, no, not really. Actually, my brothers take a lot of time compared to me that I'm a girl and I have this long hair. So, I only use shampoo and conditioner, and if I'm lucky, sometimes coconut milk, once a week. <sighs> yeah, it's interesting that uh, some of you think I'm wearing makeup. Well, I don't, most of the time, because I really hate makeup. Here in the Philippines, it's very hot all year round, depending on which part of the country you are in. And wearing makeup would be, ugh, ucky feeling, because I don't like sweating and just yucky. The only time I wear makeup is when I'm on camera because sometimes I, my eyes are very tired. So I wanted to, uh, to show a little definition to look like I'm alive, although I am half dead because I lack of sleep. And aside from that, lip gloss or most of you guys know chapstick. So it's kind of similar because I, sometimes I get chapped lips. So yeah, I just came out of the shower and look at my bare face. At the moment I have mosquito bites on my forehead, kind of itchy. I don't know why between Lucy and I, it's only me that get, you know, gets bitten. I don't know. Maybe my blood is sweet. But that's my bare face. I'm so lucky that I don't get pimples. Well, that's one thing I could thank my mama for, my jeans. So yeah, I'm gonna get some clothes and let's start our day. I always appreciate it when you folks compliment me on my fashion sense. And maybe some of you think I have this elaborate, gigantic wardrobe department. Well, here's my wardrobe department. Ta-da! Never mind the mess. I swear, I'm not a messy person. And I also keep some of my costumes here. 
here's Pilot P. This is the costume I wore. I think it was also featured on that magazine, uh, Manila Up magazine. So yeah, usually when I'm just staying here in the house, I just wear something comfy. Ooh, maybe a shirt and shorts and I feel like wearing purple today. So let's get dressed. So guys, this is the part of my day when I actually do my work because last night I just released a video and I'm sitting here and I've only got 48 hours to produce another one and videos are not just gonna pop out of nowhere. So I was thinking maybe I should do outside interviews, out and about, or maybe a studio piece uh, video when you actually write the script first and oh boy. Let me tell you, a scripted video is one of the most tedious videos to produce. And the writing itself might take oh, one to two days, full day. And to do that, I have to choose a concept, research the subject because I want to make sure I'm giving you factual details and, you know, to make sure I know what I'm talking about. And then after that, I have to make a rough draft and slowly filling it in and then polish it. And you know me guys, I really wanted to polish every sentence because I want it to be relatable. If it's funny, I want it to be extra funny. And if it's logical, witty, interesting, one-liners, I want it to be perfect. I want it to flow. That's just the script writing. But now, you have to film it. Hi folks, the full to be here, telling it like it is. Well, welcome to my studio. I'm still using the same equipment I had four years ago when I started my YouTube channel. I've got my two light boxes and a fabric for my green screening and I hope my landlord is not watching this video because I'm sure he's not gonna appreciate what I did to his wall. The primitive way of using a green screen with duct tape. Anyway, it usually takes about three hours to uh, film a 15 minute video. Well, I use a teleprompter because I don't know of anybody alive that could spout flawlessly a 15 minute video without a teleprompter. Maybe Ben Shapiro. But why does it take so long? Well, if you've noticed those tiny cuts where my head jerks and maybe my hand is over here, well, obviously those were cuts on the video because of the interruptions. Well, this is the Philippines. There are roosters, uh, dogs barking, motorcycle passing by or trucks or someone at the door. I do have the option to uh, leave that garbage on the audio, but I spent two days uh, writing and polishing the script. So filming for three hours doesn't seem unreasonable because I want it to be perfect. But that's just the uh, filming process. Now I have to edit it. So before I start editing, I have to grab a bite. And since I'm avoiding carbs, I usually eat fruit for lunch. And for today, I have mangoes, avocados, and banana. So for now, I'll just have some banana before I go bananas. All right, so the editing process. First, you have to import the raw footage and place it inside your editing software. And then I have to splice the clips together and choose a background for the green screening and then export it. Now for this process, it might take me about an hour or two for a studio piece because it's easier that way, but if I'm doing street interviews with locals, that's a different ball game. Like for instance, if I ask them a simple question, like who's your priority, your family or your husband? And then their answer, uh, what you call it, uh, what the word? And I know sometimes I try to help them because I think I know the word that they're looking for, but it seems like for you guys, 
it looks like I am interrupting them and you guys say, P, let your guest talk. I'm trying, I'm trying my best folks, but sometimes they are still looking for the word and they're trying to express themselves. If I let them just do the ums and ahs, I'll end up with a huge file and then it's gonna take me hours to edit. So that's why I try to, I try my best to, uh, to cut the, uh, the unnecessary words during the, the interview because I don't want to uh, subject you guys listening to all the ahs and the ums. For street interviews, it'll take me oh, a lot longer than a studio piece. Sometimes two days, two full days, Street interviews can be easier because I don't have to write the script, but the editing process is a lot longer. So with the script video, it takes me two days to write the script, but shorter in the editing, editing process. So those are the concerns I have to consider whenever I'm choosing to produce a video. All right, so after editing, it's now time to upload. So while I'm uploading the video to YouTube, I can do my other chores like doing the laundry, feeding the cats, or do uh, grocery shopping if needed, and cooking my one big meal, my dinner. But I know you don't want to see me eating, guys, so I'm gonna spare you that. So I'll see you tonight. So at the end of the day, if I'm lucky, say I have free time, 30 to 45 minutes, one of my guilty pleasures is playing video games. I have a PS4 that the previous owner left behind. He must have thought it was broken. <laughs> so what I did, I took it to the local repair shop and what it was, it was just a bad HDMI port. Now it's up and running. <laughs> I'm currently playing, um, it's a game called No Man's Sky. Basically, it's a space exploration game. Sometimes it's kind of mindless, but I really don't mind. It helps me relax. So I'm looking for resources, looking for platinum, silver, and gold. And you know, as Filipinas, we're gold diggers. We interrupt this broadcast with an urgent message. What broadcast? I'm playing a video game. Well, somebody has to remind you that you need your sleep pee. If you burn out, then we're all out of a job. Pirate pee, genie pee, bartender pee, hooters pee. All right, all right. I think you made your point. Well, folks, it looks like it's my bedtime. So I guess I'll see you on Tuesday with something new. Till then, folks. Around 832, 833. 834, 835, 836, 837. Some people count sheep to go to sleep, but I count stars. I'm such a nerd. Now, where was I? Dang it, I lost count. Um, one, two, three, four. This is ridiculous. I'll just watch a few videos from some of my copycats. That'll put me to sleep. Good night. If you think about it, I'm kinda like your nurse. Attending to your needs and making sure you get a healthy dose of what's good for you in the form of informational and funny videos. After all, Laughter is the best medicine. The only thing I ask for my service is that you hit the thumbs up for this video and subscribe to my channel. And while you're recuperating, why not enjoy my other videos too? So, are you ready?